So let's talk about objective number one. Probably the most important and most kind of neglected piece when we're trying to help our patients adopt and sustain any nutritional practice. Ultimately, our health is a constellation of our habits. And this is a great book if you want to dive into more of the science behind habit formation. Charles Duhigg, The Power of Habit. And I'm going to talk about some of his findings and the research in his book to help arm you with your patients. The biggest battle we're going to overcome is behavior change. And I will tell you, while early on in my practice I was trying to initiate this with my patients, it's been an evolution with the well-being program that we hyper-focus on this behavior change more so than we used to because we, sat, we found the value of it. In order to instill behavior change in your patients, it's got to start with you. You have to root your practice with purpose. If you sit there with your patient and you counsel them on the importance of changing their health habits because it's going to change the trajectory of their well-being, they're going to buy into that. They have to know that this is your purpose and your passion, and it needs to be palpable, and it ignites this kind of fire within them. And then secondly, you need to model vulnerability. The research shows when you're vulnerable with other humans, that connection, that trust piece. And that vulnerability could be as simple as, you know, what led you to want to recommend nutrition as a metabolic therapy? What hiccups and failures have you had in your practice to lead you to want to do this? And then third, we have to lead by example. And I'm not saying you lead by perfect example. None of us are perfect. But if we want our patients to adopt metabolic therapy, we have to know the world and live the world ourselves.